Yeah, it's been a minute. Sorry, my fans, I've been lost for some, for like two weeks. But I'm back, like big time. <clears throat> it's a TV empowering you all the time. Thank you so much for coming to the remedy. When you are here, you're on the right channel. We're at Homeliness, the best hotel in Barra. Trust me, you want to check this one out. You want a best room. You want to have a beautiful, you know, calm time alone, either alone or with your partner. You can get your working space. You can take your tea. Girl, boy, this is the right place. <clears throat> anyway, I'm so excited. We are in the festive season. It is December, everyone. And as a TV, we are giving back to our people. I don't know if you have seen yet, but we're giving a huge package at only 100. We're giving, I'll read this one because mm, I don't want to miss out anything. If you want this offer, maybe to offer it to someone which will actually be delivered if you call 070-590-9760. The package includes Christmas message, flyer, a bottle of red star wine, half liter of natural pure honey, liter of beet fresh yogurt, and the AET TV cup. Now you don't want to miss out that one. We are giving back to the people and we're on ATV empowering you. We're on the remit today. <coughs> Trust me, the surprise I have for you today is <laughs> going to get you on shock. So please come back. Welcome back my people and um, we're talking about a sensitive matter today so I cannot be alone. You guys today on The Remedy I have, drum lock please. <laughs> I have Claire in here, everyone. I'm very sure. I hope you're showing this lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, very glad to be here. Oh, good. Thank you so much for accepting to do this. Thank you for the invite, Jenny. Thank you for real. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> you don't know what we passed through waiting for you. Just waiting for you to be here. So it's going to be so fruitful. Thank you so much for tuning in. You can send your appreciations. Yeah, I don't bring in such guests every time. <laughs> so please thank me. And you can always catch us straight on Cruise FM. Straight from the heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so, Inya, <clears throat> tell us about your name. Ah, well, Inya is a uh, Madi name. Madi is uh, a very small tribe from West Nile, a Jumani district to be precise. Yeah, so my name means empathy. Oh, yeah. The spelling is I N Y W. Most people usually misspell it. They either say, uh, they either spell it I N Y A or I N Y. They put an H somewhere. Oh, oh we put an A without double A. Exactly. So it's Inya, I N Y W A. It means empathy. Mm. And I'm um, glad to be here. I host the lifestyle show on Cruise FM and I'm glad to be part of it uh, and part of the remedy today. Thank you. <coughs> so I have a sensitive message. Before I get to pass, no, I'm so happy. But someone sent me a message. Mm. You always do this, by the way, on your show, so I'm doing this to you. Yeah. <laughs> she told me, hi, Jenny. I know we are friends, but please, please keep my identity anonymous. I need advice from you and the viewers. I've been living with this guy. <coughs> For a year now, excuse my voice, he has been good to me, but I don't know my position in his life. When he introduces me to his friends, he says I'm his wife, but he, nev he has never gone home to see my parents or even proposed. He says he wants a kid, but I feel that that should be out of marriage, not courtship. When I asked him what I am to him, he said, you're my wife. 
I'm confused. <laughs> what should I do? All right. <laughs> so, uh, living with a guy for one year, I'm assuming they were dating before, you know, they moved, moved in, in together. Yeah. Yeah. So you, she probably knows this. Um, you know, they've known each other for quite some time. Yeah. And I think this guy is very comfortable right now with how things are. I mean, I have a woman at home. Yeah. She's doing all the wifely duties. Exactly. Uh, she cooks, she cleans. Um, I mean, there's the sex bit as well. So, yeah, this is my wife. Actually, I feel like most people they've redefined the the word wife they they don't know what it means for them it's exactly. i mean a wife as long as we're <laughs> staying in the same space we're in the same uh, house you're my wife uh. so i think this is why this guy is so very comfortable with uh, not making things between exactly yeah yeah and that is not okay. Mm. I feel like that is not okay. Actually, according to a certain article, mm. an article from the New Humanitarian, in Uganda, they say in Uganda, unmarried women must fight to keep their homes. Like you're in a home with someone, but after staying together for a while, there is the way these men get, they somehow realize, okay, after all, after all, we are not married. I like, think we're just staying together. Mm -hmm. But at first they were too comfortable. They knew you, you, you're my wife. But they did not, they did not put you in a certain position. It's not legalized, yeah, you it's know. Not legalized. Exactly. So, uh, I mean, I what Jen is going through right now, like you said, according to that article you just quoted, a lot of women have uh, are experiencing this. Mm. One day a man will wake up and tell you, actually toss you out of, of his home. It's going to be like, mm -mm. Kajambo, bye. Yes, yeah. you've been here with me. Yes, we have a child, but there's nothing legal there. And you'll toss you out. There's Habisa. nothing tying us there's together. There's nothing tying us together. So, I mean, it's just been one year for Jenny, and she's no, right. You didn't say her name, actually. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> yeah, she's writing to you. Yeah. It's, it's just been one year with, uh, with this guy, and she's right to have all these worries. Mm. That guy is so, so comfortable. So she should keep pushing. She should keep <laughs> asking this guy, let's make things official. Yeah, she should be straight. Exactly, up. be straightforward. Or maybe give the guy an ultimatum. You know what? Uh, I mean, am I your, uh, am I your girlfriend? Are we going to make this official? Am I just someone you're wasting time with? Tell me what's going on yeah. with our relationship. Let's define it. It's very important to define relationships. It's very, very it important. Is. Yeah. But you realize that this girl actually asked the guy, mm -hmm. what am I to you? Yeah, the guy said you're my wife, but in actual sense, she's not. Yes, she's she's just not. a girlfriend. Who knows? Probably she's even a side dish. Yeah, at this can be yeah, sure. She cannot be sure. So she has to be sure about her, you know, role, her, uh, her uh, I don't know, her, uh, position. The, the, her position, thank you very much, her mm. position in this guy's life. Okay. It has so, to be defined. Yeah, there are mm. very many girls who think, actually there are some girls who even use that uh, trick to get guys to them. Mm. They think getting pregnant for someone yeah, he's he's now all yours. Oh yeah. Now this guy is asking for a child. Oh, yeah. Could it be like a, a sign that this guy is now serious? Nah, oh. no. <laughs> That's oh, so. Just... <laughs> I men know that they know that the buttons to push, like to get women yeah. to soften up and do all the things mm -hmm. they want them to do. Yeah. They know as soon as you tell a woman, oh my God, I want you to have my baby. She's going to be like, I'm yes, the one. I'm the one. <laughs> This, uh, and also, um, she talked about how this guy introduces her to, to, to the, friends the friends as, oh, this is my wife. Those are the other tricks men use. Oh, this is my wife. And then you're going to feel good. You're like, I hold a very big position in this guy's life. But those are the tricks 
men use and these friends know they they know if you're the wife or you're just yeah, exactly. they know they know they go behind uh, your back and love or probably bonga him they're like ah mm. you oh, do those things right, eh? yeah 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 but i mean i feel like if this lady is not comfortable if she wants like this guy to uh really tell her the position she holds in his life then she should be straight forward keep pushing if not she moves out of this yeah. place yeah yeah she, she doesn't have to tie herself around really 110 percent yeah that mm-hmm. is advice from inya i don't know about our viewers you guys can tell us what should this lady do even that gents oh by the way i was talking to henry who is our producer behind the camera right now Hi, henry. <laughs> <laughs> and his opinion was <laughs> You can't believe it. Mm. That this lady should actually be happy. <laughs> See, the, this is what I was telling you about. Yeah. They think if you, if you know, ah, this is my wife. Yeah. We we'll have my baby. We're going to rejoice, and yeah. because it's a big deal, actually. I mean, bearing someone's child or, or being someone's wife, it's huge. It's huge. Yeah. But uh, before uh, you have someone's child, before someone calls you, before someone actually has the right to call you his wife, you should put a ring on it. Yeah, make yeah, it official. To. And if he has no guts to do it, then he's just not ready. No, he's not. Huh? He's just playing around. Yeah, and yeah, just like most men do, mm. hide and seek, hide and seek until he tires of you. And, and before you know it, right exactly, yeah. he's asking you to leave his house. So Henry, I don't know if you're taking your advice, that thing of uh, saying she should be happy now you're heading somewhere. <laughs> Until it's official, we are not doing this. Yeah. Hey, we're not. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I think relationships have like, they should be steps before you jump and move into someone's house. I, I know. Before you move in together, figure out what you mean to each other. Yeah. Exactly. That is what you're supposed to do. Actually, mm-hmm. we're going to a very in a short break and we're coming back to tell you those steps you need to take. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Before you start telling me that I should give you a kick. Come on, grow up. Anyway, <laughs> a very short break and we'll be back. <laughs> so much welcome back from that short break i'm still here with inya a pleasure so i don't know if you gave advice to this lady we are backbiting every one of you who is watching me during the break and <laughs> so inya do you think we did give this lady advice yeah, i mean a hundred and ten percent we just did we yeah. told her she should ask this guy where she falls in his life she should be straight exactly forward. girlfriend wife but there's no way she can be a wife without this being legal yeah, yeah the risk of repeating myself unless <laughs> yeah it has to be make it official a ring has to be on before someone calls you yeah this is wife and uh the part of, of, of him asking you to have his kids and what not that seemed just posturing men know what women like to hear yeah, yeah. that's exactly what he's giving exactly her. probably this girl is just afraid of losing the guy so he she's not going in there like a, a tough way asking mm-hmm. but why don't you just mm-hmm. do the right thing exactly mm. And she's afraid if she pushes and asks, maybe the guy is going to say, "Ah, oh, man, this one is is nagging me. Yeah, let me just let her go." Yeah, but being straightforward sometimes it's not nagging. You just you 
know, you know, knowing your position exactly, really. and that's how a relationship should be. You're supposed to communicate with your partner. If you don't like something, let them know. If they yeah. give you an explanation and you're still not comfortable with it, if they give you an explanation and it doesn't suit you, keep asking. If it doesn't, mm. yeah, Actually, communicate with your person. Mm. Mm. We talked about this before on the show. If you're dating someone, when you're friends, you should be able to, to say some things without fearing the person. Exactly. Why would you fear your partner? I know. This is someone yeah. you're intimate with. This yeah. is someone who knows you in and out for crying out loud. Yeah. So so a mere conversation honestly just have a conversation with someone ask them and they let you know what's going on yeah. of course some people will go za, go za, well, that's not already fast uh, that, <laughs> that's someone who's not ready yeah 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 actually i feel like if he's not ready he should even let you stay on your own mm -hmm. yeah you guys can figure out each other from separately don't break up no but of course right now he's <laughs> Uh, he's uh, enjoying the benefits so yeah. you know and a, there is that a, a wife. exactly he's enjoying the benefits of having a wife without actually making the lady mm. his wife yeah yeah i mean she cooks she cleans i'm very sure we talked about the sex bit mm. i mean he's enjoying all the benefits of having a wife having without all their, the mm. all the um, wife duties being done at home mm -hmm. So he's so comfortable. That's he not okay. is very, very comfortable. Mm. You know, I've always had this conversation with uh, my my girlfriend, some of the few girlfriends I have. Mm. Uh, the conversation of, of, of pushing a guy like to okay, you've been in a relationship. You're ready to settle down with this guy. Mm. You're ready to. Baga, what is it called? Samba girl, no, but Samba <laughs> yeah. guy is just not willing. Like, what do you do? Some men need a push, yeah. a gentle push, pull and pull. I let him know. How do you push a man to? Like, do the right uh, thing uh, probably pushes the wrong word yeah, i don't I, know I but understand. i just want to know how you okay like let him know what first thing is first you let him know that you would want the things to be legal mm -hmm. second thing you let him know that i mean as soon as possible like let's do this we've been yeah, together what are we waiting for yeah we've been together for this long it doesn't have to be anything expensive. Most people fear the financial beat. I don't know what. It doesn't have to be expensive. It's just me and you and probably family. Let's do this. <laughs> then, uh, some girls could fear losing out on that whole proposal thing. I mean, uh, meaning that <laughs> would you marry me? <laughs> oh no, but you, you, marry you me? must agree, Jenny. That's romantic. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. I also don't want to it miss is, out. Uh, <laughs> It is 110 yeah. percent romantic for a guy like to rent out a place like this and, mm. and he invites your friends and there's candles and someone playing a flowers. violin there's flowers yeah the, the fireworks <laughs> some people <laughs> No, it's 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 really nice. romantic, yeah. And every yeah. girl loves it, but yeah, so uh, you, sometimes you, it, it you, sometimes. You, you yeah, you cannot get everything you want in life. You cannot, but yeah. But I, I feel like okay, maybe sometimes some people should get. I don't know. This is from my own perspective. Mm. Did someone you feel like okay, this person is is going to be ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're dating for not just jokes, but for a serious thing. Of course. No, but you cannot tell someone's motives, you know? Someone asks you out. For example, you told me you've been in a relationship for four months. You guys are okay. Who says do that? Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay. <laughs> do, you, do you know where it's headed? You cannot really tell someone's motives. Yeah, you People, can't. Yeah, you really can't. Someone will put on a facade. Someone will come off as, you know, I'm the perfect gentleman. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you everything you want in life but it's possible so you wait in vain exactly and you wait in vain 
Oh, I mean, ultimately, I think couples should decide what they want out of a relationship. After like four months of dating, you talk about it. So, I mean, how's the relationship? What do you want out of this relationship? Yeah. How are we doing as a couple? Do you think? Ask all these questions. Communicate with your partner. Yeah. Ask him. Ask her. Do you think we are going in the right direction? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, for those who don't find it very easy to recover conversation like that. Mm. I think you could even bring it as a joke, mm. but you mean what you say. Mm. So that next time he's about to do something, he remembers, <clears throat> it clicks in and he's like, I think she talked about this. Oh yeah. Yeah, so just never lie on it. Exactly. There's some things that shouldn't be taken lightly. And uh, I always tell people, a relationship, one of them, yeah. You with this person, the two of you, there's there's no need for just. And by the time you get into a relationship, you're adults. You can reason. Yeah. So there shouldn't be any jokes. There shouldn't be any hide and seek. I don't know playing around. I know girls like to, backups. Yeah, but girls like to. What's the word? The girls like to tease a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm shy. Be straightforward. Oh, yeah. Be straightforward with your partner. Ask, and they'll <laughs> tell you hopefully. Yeah. If they're also straightforward. Yeah. Mm. Are there steps for a successful relationship? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, a successful relationship. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't want other people to send some messages, so we have to like tackle it from mm -hmm. the roots. <sighs> um, uh, personally, I think that you can, there's, there's nothing you can do to really like, um, okay, there's, there's no, um, manual for oh yeah do this do this do this and the relationship is going to be perfect because mm. no different relationships are uh i mean relationships are different people yeah, are why people are wired differently so you i will tell you you know what first study this person uh before you get intimate with him or with her first give it some time there you are know, some people who meet two days they click and it's yeah. done yeah they click it's done they move in together they get married mm. some people who take like years and years of rotating and rotating yeah Cheats, okay. cheats, cheats, yeah. So, I mean, different couples, different relationships, different outcomes. The steps, <laughs> I really <laughs> no. The next step. Yeah, but uh, the only thing I can say is there's no need to rush things in a relationship. Yeah. There's really no need. I feel like most of us, especially millennials, are rushing things. Mm. You know, I want to, I want to, I want to get with this person. I want to settle down. I want to do this. So and so is in a relationship. Let me also do this. So we are rushing things, and in the process, we are crashing yeah. a lot. <laughs> that so is true. Comparing, yeah. comparing relationships. Uh, yeah, that's like the worst thing you can do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Different people have different ways of doing their things. But I in a relationship. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I knew this was coming. <laughs> yeah, Claire, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, there's this on and off thing that's going on with me with this particular person. So, hey, you. Uh, hi, yeah, <laughs> I see you. So I guess kind of in a yeah. relationship, but. Uh, it's it's a place where I'm comfortable, honestly. It works okay. for me and it works for this person. It's kind of a long distance thing, so yeah, that also plays a part in it. So okay. it works for us. You guys are okay. Though. We are. Yeah, I, I like, like my it. space a lot. Mm -hmm. I love space. Uh, so I mean when he's off somewhere outside of the country and I'm over here, that's my space. When he comes back, you all again. So that's a relationship, I guess, yeah.
I guess yes. it's a relationship. Oh <laughs> okay, I th- I think I think it's a relationship. <laughs> the fact that you can comfortably talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you uh, as a woman mm-hmm. <laughs> before entering a relationship or something, do you have like did you have like a checklist of something like I don't need this in a man, I need this in a man, I. Need. Yes. Okay. I feel like every woman does. Should. Yeah. Should. And I think <laughs> probably every man does. Right? Right? Yeah. Say, say a yes if you agree. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Yes. I mean, I, I, uh, my checklist has not changed from the time as my first relationship, mm. like a oh, serious one, as uh, okay. 17 years old as at campus. Oh. I knew right from the get go that I would date a tall man. I knew. Oh. Yeah, I mean, like, okay, these are probably superficial <laughs> yeah. things and what not to some people, mm. but the physical beat, I knew that there would have to be a tall man somewhere in the mix, mm. and um, definitely older than me, at least by five years. I love mature men, I love the way they mm. think, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so basically that's my checklist, and of course a very smart, intelligent, uh, very ambitious man, yeah. That's my checklist. Okay. The 110% before you take me out. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to qualify. You have to qualify. How do you know? I know. And okay, I mean, uh, the height you can tell. Yeah. The age also, although some people I mean age differently. Um, yeah. uh, the bit about his intelligence and, and you know what he aspires to and, and what not you can find that uh, you can find out about that yeah, on the first, first day conversations. exactly yes yeah, conversations true. you're chatting the, 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 you can tell yeah someone's you know arrangement upstairs, upstairs. Exactly. <laughs> oh so my that's God. my checklist okay mm-hmm. so <clears throat> do you like if um I know that I'm getting into you so much. But <laughs> <laughs> How would you tell that? Okay, because you meet someone, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I vibe, 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 vibe. How do you tell that? Okay, now we're in a relationship. Because I get confused most of the times when people are celebrating their anniversaries, girlfriends and boyfriends. How do you know that? Yeah, this is when we started the relationship. Like, how do you know that? You know that? Like, yeah, we started this day, guys. You know, I, I, so I, I don't know, but I, I guess it's. I mean, different couples, different things. Some couples uh, celebrate. Oh, this is okay. Some people probably first consider case. when we first went. Uh, oh yeah, first kiss. And some people consider first time we got really, really like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and some couples celebrate when they first, you know, like talked about it. So, okay. can I call? Is it okay if I call you my girlfriend? Is it okay if I call you my boyfriend? Okay. Yeah. Personally, I think it's uh, it should be when like you decide as a couple. Now we are in a relationship. You talk about it like yeah. It's okay. I can introduce you to my friends as my boyfriend. It's okay. I can introduce you to my friends as my girlfriend. Do you know that some people find themselves in relationships? I some yeah. I've seen some though. Mm. Some of us, I really feel like you should. <laughs> you should tell me. No, I need you to be my girl. Like we should, if we vibe and you see I anything, know. Like, no, actually, tell me. I understand I what you're saying. And most mm. for most couples, it's like that. Someone asks you on a date, you go. The next time, you go on a date. The next time, you go on a date. The next time, he's making you dinner at his you. place. Yeah. Next time, he's telling you, I love you. And before you know, you're in a relationship. So you want like an official? No, I feel like okay. No, I want to understand the anniversary. But like which day are they celebrating? Like I said, Wait. different couples, <laughs> different things. <laughs> this deal, as you guys should tell me, well, what do you celebrate on your anniversary? Is the day you first kiss, the day you first met, the day you first? I will do it. <laughs> 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 no, but first kiss. No. no, that doesn't mean a relationship. That doesn't mean you're in a relationship. <laughs> oh my god, you just saw someone you kiss and you're like, no, that wasn't a.
relationship in your head. You, you kiss <laughs> like I mean, we're out on a date. The date had to end pro- in a kiss or a hug. Yeah. Hey, yeah. But it was not a relationship. Mm. So it still confuses me. It, it, yeah, yeah. But I mean, relationships are confusing like that. And people yeah. are different at the yeah, end of the day. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Different people celebrate different things. Yeah. Like yeah. you say, the kiss, sex, the first time you have sex, the first time you, I mean, he makes dinner for you, the first time he asks you officially if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're lucky, yeah, that no, really it's rare. Happens. It is. But I feel like, okay, I feel like if I meet you the first time, those first days, and I feel like you're interested, I'll click it in like. Like if I was dating someone and I'd want someone to really ask me out officially, mm-hmm. I would tell you, I, I'll be there with dating because you didn't ask me you out. Ask, yeah. Like, but also, so I mean, you I can ask me out yeah. officially. But, and you should also <laughs> actually take the initiative. Yeah. You shouldn't wait for the man to, to do everything. Exactly. These guys are human. Yeah, they are. And yeah. this is the 21st century. Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. wait for a man to ask, uh, can you be my boyfriend? Can you be my I would oh. rather can you be my girlfriend? Yeah. Us, I mean I like you have been out on several dates. I feel like there's some electricity some between us, there's some <laughs> chemistry. Mm. And we uh, like you could literally wait, you're telling them to ask guys out. Yeah, that's a hundred and yeah, uh, it is okay. It's okay. It's actually very, okay. Very. It's, it's it's very okay. How do you feel if a woman <laughs> asked you out? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> probably run away. <laughs> I don't think. I, <laughs> I don't wow. think, I don't think oh, can do that. So, but I've had, um, I've talked to some guys, and most of the guys, like the biggest percentage I've talked to, mm-hmm. if a girl approaches you in a okay, like <clears throat> tells you their intentions, the most thing you feel for them is pity, not love. Wow. But, right? Okay, most of the time. Mm. Know, after this, you can talk to some of your boyfriends, mm. like your friends. Mm. But yeah, that's what happens. I feel like this like, person is like, too desperate. Sometimes, mm. because this African setting, that is what we've grown up to that. Yeah. You're like, we've grown up, a man is supposed to approach me, a woman is supposed to, which is actually not the, the case. Yeah, sometimes, but most of the guys actually have that in them. Yeah. I've not seen a successful relationship from a lady coming to like, from my small world. Mm-hmm. I've not seen it. Like, from a lady approaching a guy and then things like work out. Like you, yeah. I actually have seen several. Mm, that's yes. good. Yeah, I've that's seen good. several. I mean <laughs> um would you? I am not that uh, bold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not that bold. But I mean, instead of dying with a feeling, I, I must probably have been lucky because I, I meet someone. They like them, they like some, it. They, they like it, and then they come first. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of dying with a feeling, you can see some. <sighs> some men are too shy. Yeah. It's a girl that guy will is shy. wait and wait. And if you see that the guy is shy and he likes you, I feel like you can do that. Uh, but if I like, okay, me personally, if mm-hmm. uh, if I, I maybe I, cr- I think it's a crush. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I let it go further, that's when I'll fall. But if I feel like if I see a like crush on you and uh, no, but the thing is, uh, life is short. <laughs> it, <If> is. I, <laughs> it is. If you see the, a man dragging his feet, you know he likes you deep down. Yeah, you if feel you, it. Yeah, if you know and you feel it, go and let him know what's up. If you know and you feel it, mm-hmm. connect from a strange uh, high, high, and then you, you you fall for him and you're going to tell him how you feel. Oh yeah. Going to say, ah, this one. This one. Yeah. I mean, like you said, some men uh, think you're desperate, some men will think you're too loose, you know. Yeah. They will say, eh, this one. Probably she says this to every man she meets. She meets. Mm-hmm. Because it's just not the number of doing things in Uganda. Uh, uh, yeah, in Africa, the doing, African yeah. setting, the African society, that's, that's not how things are done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But things are changing, yeah. which I'm um, glad yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. That is very good. Let's go in a very short 
break we're coming back thank you for tuning in you're on ATV empowering you Welcome back from that short break. You're still on ATV on the remedy. I'm here with Inya today. I'm co hosting with her. <coughs> Questions, of course. <laughs> yeah, so we're talking, we're actually giving advice to some lady who sent me a message. I'm going to read it once again. And if you're out there wanting to have some advice for her or about everything we've been talking about, or you have uh, an idea about something I should talk about next Saturday, just send down in the comment section below. So the message was, <coughs> I'm reading this to Inya and everyone else. <laughs> Hi Jenny, I know we are friends, but please, please keep my identity anonymous. I think I should not have read that one. I need <laughs> advice from you and the viewers. I've been living with this guy for a year. Okay, by the time you start calling him this guy, okay. <laughs> you think you should have said with, <laughs> with my, my boyfriend? boyfriend. <laughs> Like, uh -huh. I was not sure by the time you call him this guy. Yeah. Yeah. I need advice from you and the viewers. I've been living with this guy for a year now. He has been good to me, but I don't know my position in his life. When he introduces me to his friends, he says I'm his wife. But he has never gone home to see my parents or even proposed. He says he wants a kid, but I feel that she'd be out of marriage, not courtship. When I asked him what when I asked him what I am to him, he said, You're my wife. And I think probably hugged her. I'm yeah, confused. So then, like, <laughs> give her pick. Uh, yeah, like, hey, you're my, my wife. wife. Oh, darling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm confused. What should I do? We already answered that. Yeah. But with that, we're going to talk about everyone who's passing through this situation. Mm -hmm. Or probably hasn't realized you're in this state. You're staying with your boyfriend comfortably. You moved in. You're staying together. You're sleeping together every day. I mean, don't know which control method they're using for. Yeah, that's a baby has it come. Has it come? I know. Ah, but uh, I mean, this uh, dot com era, but people know what to do. Mm. But uh, <laughs> it is. Yeah. But it's still not okay. It's still not okay. Mm. You're passing through things you're supposed to pass through in future when you're married. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, for women out there who are staying with their boyfriends. Yeah, boyfriends. It's boyfriends. I feel like it's boyfriends. Mm. And you even probably already have kids, or you no longer have kids, or you're thinking of, I mean, you're, you're not yet having kids, or you're thinking about giving birth, but you're not married, you haven't visited your family. It's actually funny how some girls, we are, we are too girly. <laughs> you fall in love with a boy and you feel like it's everything beyond and above your family. So even if he says goes, I know. So even if he doesn't come home, even if we don't, you know. But at the end of the day, no. But uh, you should get your priorities straight, uh, mm. ladies. Just know what you want out of a relationship. At the end of the day, not everyone actually wants marriage. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. Some people are fine with the uh, courtship. Just uh, uh, we call it cohabiting. Mm. Some people are fine with just living with their boyfriends the way it is. I mean, he's there, I'm here, we enjoying each other. If we have kids, good. I'm not, I mean, the kind of person who's looking for a ring. But, uh, like I said, communicate. Get into, if, if you are getting into a relationship, and especially if you're going to make that very huge move of moving in with someone, first figure out what you want out of the relationship. But in your, by the time you move in with someone mm. and start having kids, I feel like you're ready. Ready for marriage. Like you, you're, you're ready to stay with this person. What yeah. is marriage? 
it's, 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 no, it's, I'm not yet there. That's mm-hmm. why I don't want to like go in and people start saying I'm not experienced. But I've had relationships. Uh, yeah, and of course you've, you've, you've seen you've seen you've mm. seen people in relationships as 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 well. Yeah. No, the the thing is, um, moving in with someone and having kids with them when uh, things are not legalized by the time you do that you already know what i mean you own about what you want honestly as a grown adult mm. if you've talked about it i mean there are some people who say okay let's move in let's have kids later we're going to get married like you talk about it mm. he promises i'm going to marry you but this thing of you haven't talked about it this person yeah. is already calling you his wife and he's not even making a move to do anything about it in uh, your friend's uh, situation that's not okay it's not it's yeah. Okay, it's not. But so, mm. I still feel even if you talk about it, okay, if this guy is ready to stay with me mm-hmm. and have kids with me, he's ready for marriage. What is the difference between, okay, marriage is, what are you scared of? Me no, being entitled to no, be your really. If if you marry someone, if you make it legal, okay. you're bound to this person forever. It's it's, it's legal, like it's it's binding. Mm-hmm. Plus, of course, there's some you know like other things that come with it. Exactly. But, but no, but if you have kids with a woman and and you not made it official, you you can wake up one morning and decide go marry some other woman. Exactly. Mm. See, and that is not okay. It's that is not. why some guys are like, you know, let's let's be together. Yeah. Let's have kids, but anytime you wake up, but women, you know that we have this heart, we are this soft. Softies. Yeah, we are softies, we are marshmallows. So you get, you go there, have kids with this guy, trust me, you're not going to be a okay with him or not. And it is in rare cases that a woman is the one who is. Of course not. Yeah. Rarely so. does a woman will stay that women get beaten every single day. They get mistreated but they will stay so, there. Yeah. yeah. So the guys usually pack up and leave. Mm. They leave you alone to suffer with the kids in most cases. So I mean like I said, get your priorities straight. Figure out what you want out of a relationship before you make such big bold moves like moving in with yeah. a person. Yeah. Talk about it. We're moving in together as boyfriend, girlfriend. Are we going to get married? Are we talk about it? Of course, I mean, someone can tell you, yeah, we're going to get married and they change their minds later. But it's right, like, you, you, you know what you're getting into before you get into it. Yeah. And I think moving in with a person is a very huge, huge deal. Living with a person for a year, it's a big deal. For her, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a big deal. And, and you could, you can tell that she's ready. Married. Yeah, she is. Uh, she is. Yeah, she, she really is. is. She wants this guy to pop the question yeah, already. Like, why? Why are you waiting? Exactly. And she's she very ready up. to also have his yeah. baby. Yeah. She is. She is. Yeah. Ah. Guys, it gets. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I they give us too much headache. Yeah. Also, ladies, wake up. Yeah. Wake up. I know, I mean, the heart is too soft. You are in a relationship with someone. You love them. You you cannot help it. You end up making mistakes, which we all do in relationships, meanwhile. Yeah. But uh, open your eyes. Mm-hmm. In this day and age, open your eyes. Yeah. So your friend should better continue using that family planning method. She's <laughs> using, she shouldn't get pregnant for this yes, guy yeah until he really really comes out and says you know what i've been introducing you as my wife now let's make it official because uh, clearly that's the only thing she's waiting for right now okay mm-hmm. and you can tell that this guy is a coward yeah yeah he's a coward he does not want to make it legal because if and so if someone does that that means they're not sure if they should stay with you forever oh no yes um, maybe maybe yeah, yeah. Mm. see mm-hmm. that's not okay you're, yeah. you're ready to be with this guy but he's not sure eh? yeah. and anytime by the way all these marriages that okay it's not marriage many people that stay together have kids out of 
not make the things we go they end up yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> without a wedding mm-hmm. without your yeah, that's yeah. it yeah without a wedding hey put a free uh, put a ring on the finger and yeah uh, do things properly fall in <laughs> love uh, yeah. date uh get married yeah have kids yeah have kids mm-hmm. and yeah we t- you, you realize that with time eh? mm. okay after having kids there is now too much responsibility the love will divert from <laughs> that that whole <laughs> <laughs> small small love is going to divert from me to the kids to the kids yeah, yeah. besides you won't even have time to mm. kids take a lot of, of, of yeah. you know energies and, and yeah and after some time you guys will have nothing to hold on mm. Mm-hmm. So if you're married, you have the ring to hold it. You have the marriage. This is my wife. Mm-hmm. You see, you've you've seen. Uh, we've been hit on by married men, oh, but he was, Lord. if mm-hmm. he's really married, he's even going to tell you, yeah, I have a wife, but but this one, they have no ring. They don't. Uh, I have no they wife. They have nothing to lose. Have yeah. no wife. Yeah. They will even tell you, like, that this woman got pregnant and brought the kid. Mm-hmm. What was they supposed to do? Exactly. Yeah, so So you should be a sense of security and that ring yeah, it's a small thing and what not but yeah. it, it does mean a lot at the end of the day in a relationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you better think about your self what you're going into. <laughs> Is that nice for me? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. How many relationships have you been, no, no, been no, no, in? No, no, no. Oh my God. Yeah. Ah, how can stay you here? You're the one giving the advice. I hope we, <laughs> I hope we got what we wanted. Uh, I think our time is up. Thank you so much for coming. Oh man, it's a pleasure. I um, hope I get you again. Blessed. No, I, I, I mean, as long as I'm around, I, all you have to do is holler and I'll come through. Oh, like this afternoon, I was very free and it's like, why not? Why not come through and see what the eat TV is all about and what the remedy is all about? Oh, yeah, it was a pleasure meeting you, Jenny. Yeah, me too. A huge joy, as oh, I explained, yeah. and our producer, oh, he loves you so mm. much. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> he's flashy. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for the advice. I'm really sure that all the viewers are happy out there. Yeah. You have a little fun. Uh, thank you very much for the love, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. love you. I do and appreciate you're like, it. Calm and oh, okay. <laughs> thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for watching. You're on ATV empowering you. I'm telling you, as we've been talking, if you want to propose to your girlfriend, come at home, Linus. Mm-hmm. Flowers, there's a lot of space for you to put the flowers, your friends to shout to, to the lady who is surprised and whatever, mm-hmm. so that you make things right. Propose that the marriage is uh, indeed a successful one. Last words for the viewer. What damn romance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, I mean, um, what can I say if you're in a relationship? Um, be faithful. Yeah. But yeah. Be faithful. And don't get into a relationship unless you're really ready. Otherwise, you're going to end up breaking a lot of hearts. Yeah. But yeah. So get into That's a relationship when you feel you're ready emotionally, mentally, and physically. And uh, like I said, stay faithful. Okay. And uh, thank you very much for watching ATV. Yeah, thank you. I'll also give you some kisses today. Bye. Bye bye.